All right, welcome everyone. We're here with 8countnews.com and Lightning Lonnie Smith. We're here at the sportsonsports.com football camp in Las Vegas, Nevada. How you doing, Lonnie? Welcome. I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm excellent. I'm excellent. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, your boxing career. Um, my name is Negro Mexicano Lightning Lonnie Smith. Um, I'm a boxer puncher. I'm one of the, the best, they say. Um, I'm a prospect, up and coming prospect at Junior Lightweight, 130. Um, I've been boxing ever since I was 13 years old. I have a lot of um, amateur experience with 65 fights, but once I turned pro, that's when I started to shine. What's your record currently? It's um, eight wins and six knockouts. All right, well, tell us what brought you to Vegas to train. Uh, what brought me to Vegas was being in the boxing capital of the world. Um, I'm from Denver, Colorado, but Las Vegas is where you become a star in, in this sport of boxing. So if I wanted to be an actor, I would move to L.A. Instead, I wanted to be a boxer, so I moved to the boxing capital of Las Vegas, Nevada, so now they call me the son of Las Vegas. Nice. How does your family influence your boxing career? My family influences my boxing career because they, those are the people that push me. My family consists of um, my mother who, who put me in boxing at a very young age, at 13, and, and, and my, um, her brother, my Uncle Michael, you know, he pushed me to continue to box because he boxed. I have a lot of people in um, my family that were boxers and, and, and it was potential champs for themselves, you know. They had a lot of obstacles in their way that didn't allow them to make it. So, you know, my family tries to, to prevent all those obstacles or, you know, try, try to disturb some of them obstacles from getting in my way. And with my uncle, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, who's my trainer, you know, I had somebody to look up to, not just um, as a trainer, but somebody that I know as family, as blood. Excellent. Well, you had a great win in your last fight. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, my last fight was against a guy named James Lester Jr. from Detroit, and I knocked him out in the third round. It was a spectacular knockout, one knockdown in the first round, about a minute and a half in, and then um, it was a couple slips that I consider was knockdowns as well. But then, you know, he actually stunned me in the second, but I kept going. I got heart. I got a heart of the line. Third round, I came out and I knocked him out. He was, he was damn near unconscious. Well, what's next for you, Lonnie? What's next in your boxing career? Um, after that fight on July 3rd, you know it was it, it was a difficult fight. Um, every fight's a difficult fight, but you work hard ahead of time. You prepare yourself for anything that's difficult. It's never easy when you get inside the ring, but we're going to try to get back in the ring sometime in October. I'm training right now just trying to perfect everything from the jab to the right hand. I want to perfect everything and get my craft down. Is there anyone in your weight class that you're looking to fight, someone you feel that is tailor-made for you? Um, anybody that's tailor-made. Um, Everybody in my class, everybody is uh, is opposition. Everybody is opponents. Uh, I never consider myself being an opponent when I get inside the ring because I know my skills and my that I've worked on inside the gym is just as good as anybody else's. It's, and, and my work ethic that, that's 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 where I get my my talent from. I may not be the talented fighter there is, but my work ethic is harder than most of all fighters. Is there anything you feel that you do differently in the gym than anyone else does that gives you kind of like an edge? This is when I get inside the ring. When I get inside the gym, my edge is that I don't have no worries because when I'm inside the gym, I'm lighting on the slip. I know that's that's what I do, that's what I love, so that's what I have to I have to focus on. I shut down everything that's outside of the gym when I'm in the gym and I work hard at that. What is your primary goal? Uh, in boxing, at the end of your career, where do you want to be? My primary goal is for anybody to ever think about boxing or to say anything, maybe one time they'll bring up my name and they'll say, Lightning Ronnie Smith was a great fighter. If I don't get the belt, if I do get the belt, I'll always be remembered as Lightning Ronnie Smith was a great fighter. That's great. Well, thank you, Lonnie. It's been a pleasure. This is Serafina signing off. For 8countnews.com and sportsonsports.com. Sportsonsports.com backslash boxer dot. Thank you, Lonnie.